Hey guys, 50s kid here. Behind me is a 2000 Honda Odyssey and the owner is actually a friend of mine and recently he was changing his oil and he actually stripped the threads on the drain plug and uh, that's not a good day. So uh, basically it's here and uh, there, there are two ways to, to fix this. Um, number one, you get a new drain pan. Um, which could which could work out for you. You could you could get a new one, or you can go to a salvage yard. That's probably what I would do if I was gonna go that route. Or number two, you can tap the hole to a bigger bolt diameter. Just get a larger bolt, get a get the proper tap si size, and then tap it if you have access to do that. Which you you don't on every car, but you could actually do it on this car. So um, let's actually take a look underneath the car and explore both of those options. So uh, first, let's let's get a look at the drain plug. Um, there was actually RTV, clear RTV on this. I already kind of cleared it off. Um, and I, then I thought that this was gray RTV in, inside the, the grooves of the thread, uh, the bolt here. But uh, it turns out this is actually, it's actually the aluminum from the drain pan. Look at that. So. Yeah, interesting. This is uh, this is how I know that it is the drain pan that was stripped out and not the bolt. I was I was kind of hoping it was the bolt. You know, that would be the easy, uh, easy easiest way to solve the problem. But uh, yeah, it's a it's an aluminum drain pan, so that really sucks. To, to remove the drain pan would actually be really really complicated because look what's in the way, the exhaust. Um, this engine is transversely mounted. So it's mounted sideways and um, it's a V6. So there's, there's an exhaust header on one side and then on the other. So you'd have to unbolt both of those and then you have to unbolt it from the cat and then unbolt the hanger right here, uh, which, you know, can, can be done. But, um, and thankfully, you know, I'm in California. This is, a, this is a, a pretty dry state. So there's not that much rust or corrosion on these and I have air tools, so it would actually be pretty easy and there's good access to all these bolts, but that's still, you know, like a pain in the butt. It's actually kind of gonna be difficult to get at some of the the bolts on the side, but actually there's a, there's a plastic access panel I could remove and, you know, you take the wheel off, you take that, take the oil filter out, take all that stuff out and that's, that's you know, that's a real pain in the ass to do. Plus, um, if I wanted to get one of these from a junkyard, if I could find one, um, how am I going to remove this crap in the junkyard without my air tools? That's just, that's going to be an, an immense pain, you know? So, um, really replacing the oil pan is, is just a pain in the ass and really just uh, the last resort. But that's why I would, uh, I would actually come back to, you know, my, my number one option is going to be retapping the hole. Um, but actually, on closer inspection, I can see that there are actually some threads left in the hole there. Like half of them are gone, but the, the back half are still there. And, and as you saw, that was a, a really short drain plug. So we, we actually might be able to just get like a longer bolt and use that and just like thread that in. So um, I got my caliper here measuring. The bolt and um, you can see that it's actually a, a 14 millimeter bolt I don't know why it's flashing probably need to change the batteries <laughs> but um, yeah that's it's a 14 millimeter bolt and the thread pitch I, I actually went and downloaded this this chart from uh, from the internet and um, it's just a, a metric thread size chart I forget exactly what I searched for on Google but um, they've got the met the metric thread pitches and if you just print this to scale at like actual size um, you can you can just take your bolts and like line it up and and try to see if it aligns and that one doesn't work but it looks like that one does so you see yeah this is actually a one this is a 1.5 millimeter thread pitch so it's a 14 1.5 uh, bolt that I have to go get so um, I'm going to run down to the hardware store and see, if, see what I can find. Well, I guess it's my lucky day. I was able to find a, an M14 um, that's like, that was 1.5 thread pitch and it's about 45 millimeters long. And it's actually, it's actually like, like really long in comparison to the old one. I mean, look at that. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty long. So I think I'm going to 
check this um, and see if it's like maybe too long for uh, to go into the drain pan. So, um, so I, I kind of wasn't sure what I was going to do at this point. And um, I checked around online and I, I found, I actually found like an old Eric, the car guy video where he, he fixes this exact problem um, in this exact way. He gets uh, like the same bolt that I found. And um, I guess he cuts it off with a cutting wheel and then just kind of grinds down the edges. So it's easier to thread on. And um, I, I don't have either of those tools, but this, kind of gave me an excuse to go to go buy uh, some of them. And so I bought a cutoff tool um, for like $7 at Harbor Freight and then like a, a cutoff wheel for I think a dollar, something like that. So um, that's kind of cool. I'm going to get to use a new tool for the first time. And um, I don't have a, a bench grinder, but um, I do think I, I do have like another tool that I think will do the trick. So uh, that's where it bottoms out. And um, so I know basically I need to remove at least that much um, of the threads. I'm gonna need to cut this bolt and I'm gonna measure that. And that's about 21 millimeters. So I'm gonna do, you know, 22 or 23, just so uh, I have a little bit of clearance, just in case. There's actually gonna be a washer on there as well, but uh, yeah, so I'll go for like 22. By the way, I forgot to mention that I do have my safety goggles on and I realized that uh, I should have a, an actual bench vise. Um, I don't own one. All I have is uh, my, my woodworking vise here and there's wood right here. So I'm kind of, you know, I've, I've already kind of smoked it up a little bit. I'm, I'm going slow with this. I'm letting it cool down and uh, just going like a little bit at a time so I don't cause any damage. I got a fire extinguisher right here. Uh, when you do this, use a metal vise on a metal table, obviously, or just use a hacksaw, but uh, got to use what we have. So I don't actually have a bench grinder, but I do have a drill and this, uh, this little bit that's been floating around in my toolbox forever. It's uh, just kind of a, a coarse grinding wheel, so I'm going to use this to sort of clean up the edges. Okay, I think that's gonna work. It's not pretty, but it's gonna do the job. All right. Basically just snug, but I'm not trying to over, over tighten it. And that's gonna do it. I'm gonna add the oil back in and uh, see if it leaks. By the way, whenever I'm re-adding engine oil that I've drained back to the engine, um, I always use a, a, a paper uh, paint filter to strain it. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.